and we are back. 2021 National Championship about to happen. I have one of the teams right here, Double Clutch, who just relentlessly and easily took down the number one team in our power rankings. What do you expect coming into this game, uh, Raul, for Rito Boys? What do you expect them to do well? What are you guys thinking coming into this? Um, obviously, we all know Ryder has some crazy serves. Um, he's been hitting some new ones. It's almost like uh, you know he's been hiding it the whole season. He's like stepping out wide. Uh, cuts and reverses, but Coleman, I think he's a deadly server too, with some pushes and I don't know, maybe the best drop I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, you know, they're pretty scrappy on defense yeah. too, so we're we're gonna have to play really cleanly, just like how we did in the um, the semis. Yeah. So sure. yeah. So we just got a layout of what Rito, what we expect from them. Frederick, I need to know why double clutch is gonna be the 2021 national champions. I mean, the real easy answer is we're the hardest hitting team. We're going to hit the ball farther than they can play defense. Yeah. They're going to hit the ball and we're going to get touches. We've played great defense on them before, and we'd like to overpower this team. I really feel like we've done it in the past. We can do it again, so that's what's going to happen. Yeah. We're going to beat them bad. Boys, I'm excited to watch it. We're going to get you ready on the practice field. We're going to bring in Rito boys real quick, so good luck. Thanks, Thanks Vinny. See ya. And a great, really awkward transition of the other team walking in. We're just going to kill some time right here. And we got the other team right here ready to win the national championship. Rito boys, you just took out your mentor. You took out the guys who are a huge pedestal for you to take out. Now you have one game left to be the national champions. What do you expect from Double Clutch? They're looking pretty good right now. Uh, they're going to be the best serving team we faced all, all weekend. So I think the thing for us is going to be serve receive. Yep. If we can serve receive, um, I think we'll win. Absolutely. Clark, or Clark Coleman. I asked them earlier, I'm asking you the same thing. Why you guys? Why is it your day? Why is it your time to be the 2021 national champions? Um, well, we let them beat us the uh, last two times we played them. So we just decided that we'll, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and take, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, go ahead, yeah. we'll go ahead and take natties. I think, it's our, I think it's our turn to win one against Double Clutch. So hopefully it. we take it. Well, boys, get ready. Hey, you guys need to stay tuned. We're about to start the 2021 national championship, biggest game of the year. Let's go to Bryce and Mike real quick. And great interviews from Vinny Bonta, the man on the field, who kind of looks like Rory McIlroy, am I right? <laughs> That's amazing. So, Rito boys, double clutch. Those interviews were amazing. That was a very uh, humble Rito boys and a very confident Frederick Hinkle. Mm -hmm. I like that vibe. And, I mean, that's the confidence that you need to take into championship day. You Absolutely. saw them in that first semifinals. They were not bothered. No, not even a little bit. Um, I do want to shout out everyone here in the stream. You are about to watch the 2021 National Championship. There are six new players on the podium. Someone in chat said that, and now I'm saying it without fact checking. It's true. This is going to be incredible round net. Yeah, you right. have to stick around, tell all your friends. If we hit a thousand viewers, also probably if not, I'm doing it anyways, we're going to give away more spike ball swag. So. <laughs> Definitely stay tuned. Tell all of your friends because if we hit a thousand, we're giving away some incredible spike ball swag. So, oh god, this is gonna be incredible. I'm just so excited. But you're right. None of these players have played in the nationals finals. None of them have played in the nationals semifinals. I don't think, I don't think any of them have even been in nationals top eight. Like the fact that they're here in this nationals finals shows how much they worked in 2019, 2020, and 2021, and it's just so cool. And we're gonna show over to the field for their intros. Okay. Okay. Hello. Vinny Bonson now in the far field. It is time! The 2021 National Championship right here, right now. We have Double Clutch. We have Rito Boys. One game to decide. Spike Ball Legends. Everyone, let's give it up one time for both these teams and get it going! And they're both joining in meeting at the court, their last meeting of the season. I am just amped up for this match. Both feel very confident, feel like they're peaking at the right time, and are so ready to become national champions. Oh, say it again, national champions? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. These guys, this is what they've been working for. This is what they've been working so hard for. I know that 
uh, Ryder and Coleman are way more soft-spoken about it. These guys work very hard at perfecting their game. We all know it about Frederick and Rahul, but these four players have worked so hard for months, two years really, to be at this point in their life on this stage trying to take that top spot at the podium. Like all of them, Ryder, I know he's practicing all the time. Coleman is at a tournament nearly every weekend. Frederick Rahul, I already told you, they practice constantly and have been working for years. The amount of film they watch, they break down all their games on roundnetstats.com. They do it all, and it all comes down to this. They've earned these spots here in history. Frederick Hinkle doing his, uh, oh, that's a weird first touch, but avoiding the no hit zone is Ryder, who goes on two, takes the open shot. I think that was the smart play. We start here with a two. <laughs> what an unorthodox way to start a national finals. He gets him to bite. He may have had him beat. Frederick telling Rahul, relax, we're fine. Uh -huh. One of the advice Ryder himself on how to run it says is don't bite. He swings very hard. He's gonna try to call a hinder. They're gonna upset about his footwork there, saying he wanted to move around Epperson there. See what the observers say, or if they're even going to talk about it. I love Reva trying to get the ball. Just trying to get the ball quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, don't go don't go to an observer. <laughs> I'll just serve. So Ryder Rivadanera, 21 years old, Santa Barbara, California. Swinging hard. I mean, we saw him put on a clinic mm -hmm. against Boisterous. They won 21 to 10 off the hands of really both of them as servers. Mm -hmm. And he says, I think that may go to observers, but it does not. Okay. Um, but he really said it is surreal to be in this finals here, Rivadanera. It looked like he started joking around, and Frederick Hinkle is all business right now. Mm -hmm. He wants this so bad. In his interview with Vinny Bonta that you guys just watched, or maybe you didn't if you're just tuning in, mm -hmm. that he was he said, we're going to hit it harder than them, we're going to hit it farther than them, we're going to get touches, and we're going to make sure that they don't. Yep. That is the most confident inter pregame interview that I have heard from any of our competitors this weekend. He is all business. We saw him in... <laughs> last night on his Instagram story, took an ice bath. He is taking this more serious than anyone here. He wants this so bad. Most other players enjoyed adult beverages last night. Yeah. <laughs> but he's coming in and he's taking it to the limit. This it, would mean the world for him. When he won his first pitcher early in the year, actually with Coleman Epperson, he said, this is what it's all about. Lefty swing by Ryder Riva. Nobody home. Frederick Hinkle had run the other way, but the set was very good from Coleman Epperson. play so far. Reba gonna try to make some things happen here from the seven foot line. Steps out right, hits a cut, and he does right on cue. Reba gets his first ace. That is so far away. Again, it is harder for these shorter players to get over there, but I don't know if anyone could have gotten there. I wouldn't have. Gone. And he hits another one, back to back. <laughs> this is what Frederick and Rahul do not want the Rito boys to do. And you see Epperson is Stoked, and that's the energy Epperson needs. He needs to feel it from his partner to do it himself. So this is huge for both of the Rito boys. Oh, goes for the reverse, like we mentioned. That ball's got so much spin that even off the turf, mm -hmm. it drifts and turns five feet to the right. Ryder, his third serve in a row. Steps out wide right, fakes, fakes again. Oh, Had the wide, wide open, Bryce. Absolutely <laughs> wide open cut and hits the front of the rim. But that's what it is. His left is so good that it's such a threat. You cannot let him fake left because he'll take it. He'll take it every time. You saw that Hinkle, uh, white hat, white shoes there. Uh, you saw him calm down his teammate earlier on the rotations. And then he's almost getting his ankles broken himself. <laughs> he got, got away with one because Reva hit the rim. But... Rahul, mm -hmm. who's got some serving power of his own, hits the rim again, double faults, and now Coleman Epperson will get a chance to uh, prove himself here. At the Proving Grounds, mm -hmm. aptly named, here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. More specifically, Conshohocken. Swings hard, mm -hmm. misses the net by a mile, hits Rahul Murphy in the shin, and now Frederick Hinkle, who, will hit this harder than anyone that you've seen today. 
does. Good, good recovery set by Epperson, but swinging from off the net is Reba. Great point for double clutch. A break they needed to get some momentum back. Yeah, I've got to bring some energy back. I love Hinkley. He's a relatively high serve on percentage because he just blasts it like that, favoring the right cut and the right push. He will challenge you so much with that right hand. It is polarizing here. We, we heard uh, we heard a lot of crowd noise mm -hmm. from our left uh, when Texas started, or when, uh, when Double Clutch started getting points. Uh, and then immediately from the right side of our mm -hmm. booth, we heard a lot of come on Rito. So mm -hmm. uh, polarizing stands over here. And with the wow. head fakes, he goes to the left. As you said, it is so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Mike White has turned around in disgust at how nasty that left hand was. He has them jumping, and that's why you see them moving. Hinkle's even laughing because he's like, that is ridiculous. Game recognized. Game. Of course, that one popped up, and they're going to play. No, they're not. No, okay. No. Okay. They, get, they gave him another chance at this. Mm -hmm. Mentor and good friend Preston By is amping him up from the sidelines. Mm -hmm. Tries wow. to hit a cut. Say so that left, that in California, when they played, that left hand cut had an ace percentage 25%. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. These guys are so good. So good. It makes me so mad. Mm -hmm. That one goes way up over the head, even off the rim. You will see these players opt to play some of these uh, just because of how good everyone is at serving. Mm -hmm. uh, taking the ball out of their hands in any way, shape, or form will turn into some points. Coleman Epperson, crossed up, steps wide right, tries to hit mm -hmm. a cut. Yeah. And I will mention, any of these stats I'm pulling out, they come from roundnetstats.com. Roundnet Analytics Worldwide, they can they break down all of the games from the tour series and they can break down your games. So check them out, roundnetstats.com. I have a whole encyclopedia here to share with you during this match. <laughs> uh, Frederick Hinkle, meanwhile, is trying to break the net with how hard he's hitting. And that one works. Uh -huh. They're calling high. I actually don't, I don't uh, think that Riva is gonna like how this one goes. Yep. They call clean, yep. And again, let's quickly mention the observers here. Ben Dantowitz, Max Modell, and Ryan Fitzgerald. And of course, the three observer system observers, they do make some active calls, but they don't make every call like reps. It's mostly when they're asked. A blast. A little high on that one. A little high. Not very high. Just a little high. Uh, definitely close. But with how hard Hinkle hits that, the further further left he goes, the more he closes off his own angles. Uh, the, the smaller that uh, window, that margin for error is. Swinging hard, twice in a row. Cooled down a little bit with his last two serves. Right, very opposite what we see from assistive touch. These guys are swinging every single time. Their ace percentage and honestly their serve on percentage are so high, you might as well. Especially Rahul Murthy, who is actually the strongest server when they played last time, mostly due to his reverse. Right there. That one. <laughs> oh, they, they called it a pocket, I believe. Yeah. Oh, high is an interesting call. Another one that Riva may want back. They, he returned it well. I, I feel like you just got to play those. It's really challenging. And they're calling it clean again. And Riva is stunned. That's now two points now. Obviously, one was different than the last. They could have easily played that one. You're right, Bryce. Rahul Murphy. They will play this. Take it out of Rahul's hands. Epperson. Oh, he played. <laughs> oh, he calls it on himself. God, the sportsmanship out of these. The Southern Charm right. and sportsmanship out of these guys. They're oh, not making amazing. you go to the observer. Of course, Southern Charm will mention, right, if you're not, if you're new, double clutch, Texas A&M uh, alum and current member in College Station, Texas. College Station, Texas. Of course, the other guys, a mashup. We got Tennessee, Coleman Epperson from Tennessee, Ryder Riva from California. That was a great serve. They will call this high. My guess is that they're going to go straight to the observers. Oh, they don't waste any time. Oh, <laughs> they're just switching sides. That's the power move known by Chizik Showalter that when it goes to observers, we're switching because we're pretty sure we're right. Where they always know, but it definitely gets in your opponent's head. And they call that oh, one they did high. Call high. Riva may be upset that one didn't go their way after losing the last two. Yeah, that was actually very close. Hinkle, another one. Way high on that one. I love his lean and step forward. Allows him to get so much power and more angle. Good drop shot. Ryder's going to swing with his right hand. Body up by Rahul. Hinkle is there, but he botches the set. That is so uncharacteristic of him. 
He puts those within the no hit zone air area all the time. All right, that is their bread and butter defense that we talked about. We didn't see it much earlier, but the up from Rahul, uh, Hinkle chases down just a little off that time. I don't know if he really did a certain type of motion that he usually does, maybe overthought it a little bit. Stepping out wide right, faking left, fakes left again, goes left. That was an <laughs> unbelievable lefty cut. I don't care, even if he hadn't jumped, he's not touching that. No, ball. no one can receive that serve. That was what, what, ankle level? Did it even bounce? I'm pretty sure Rahul Murthy just said, what was that? Yeah, like, did it even bounce? It hit two squares. It hit two squares, but he gets it with so much cut over the ball that it just moves. It doesn't pocket. Oh my God, one more time, one more time. And with how quick his toss is, it's just, it's just disgusting. Timeout called by Double Clutch. Uh, very smart timeout. Uh, they got a cool, cool Rito boys down. I mean, they've gotten all of these breaks basically off of their serves. Something that either one of them is capable of doing, either one of these teams is capable of doing. Uh, especially, I mean, Epperson, he did go off on some of his serves in their semifinal match, but he is definitely not the one that they should be looking out for. Uh, these serves are all going to come out of Riva. However, both of the players on double clutch have the potential to get a couple back. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it looks like two points and the break here uh, from Riva. But I'm telling you right now, they're, mm -hmm. they're, not, uh, they're not out of the woods. Not yeah, even close. Not, because not at all. I think I'm going to say a different X factor. Of course, Ryder, Riva Dinero is good enough to do it. But in their series last time, Epperson was the weakest player in that series. So it's up to what can he do? Can he hold off enough so that Riva can just make this work? If Epperson comes out to play as well, I think this might be just at least curtains, at least for this game one. 14-11, Riva still sticking with the fakes. We do take a look at chat every once in a while. Show the love. We're almost at those thousand viewers. We will give away a pro set. Hinkle sets this off the net. Murphy has to swing hard. Epperson in position, but a great mm -hmm. shot and way too much power from Murphy. Hinkle wasn't joking. No, right. The, the <laughs> they're going to hit it hard. That's what they do. That's what Texas does. They just play hard. They swing hard. They hit hard. And all with their right hand, I've learned. Mm -hmm. Good reverse cut, but received by the left hand of Riva, who puts this into the body of Murphy. They do this so well. Murphy's gonna swing hard. Riva gets a, a hit on it. Epperson set is so good. What a stab at that by Rahul Murphy, but a great point all around. The crowd is losing it here in oh Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness. Just, I, Double Clutch puts it all together and it's still not enough. Riva mates, meets that. I love that Murphy was able to get it back. That's the Double Clutch. We love and see just beautiful over the head set by Hinkle. Little fist pump as it goes, but again, not enough. But talk about that stab at it. Wow. Just getting another touch. The fact that he even got the touch is, it's probably almost worse for him mentally. He's like, we had it. Uh, but it was a it was very smooth play from both teams. That was the Frederick Hinkle type of setting that we know. Mm -hmm. uh, but no slight to Coleman Epperson, who had an amazing set over his right shoulder as well. Now Hinkle will serve this, receive this with his right hand. This pocket's up. That is so unfortunate. He's going to maybe call this. He should have tried to swing at it. His argument with the observer would be a little bit better. We're just listening in on the field here. Yeah, saying, did you even have a chance to get there? That, that's why I think you always just got to make some sort of effort. Doesn't have to be a big effort. but swing. So the observers will talk. Did he have a play on it worthy of a redo? Basically, it's going to be all eyes on uh, Ryan Fitzgerald, who actually made a play from over there himself. And, and they, they will, are calling a redo. They will call for a redo. It's I, possible. It's possible. I mean, he proved, one of the observers proved it yesterday. Oh, yeah. So if anyone's going to help make that call, it, it might be to Rito Boy's benefit that Ryan Fitzgerald is on that panel right now. Good low drop shot. Hinkle there, no problem. Swings very hard. Yep. And then they try again. <laughs> and says that time, nope. No, I wasn't getting that one. I honestly think his arm was closer than yeah. he, he should have outstretched it, but he might have carried it even yep. if he did get there. So point goes the way of double clutch anyways. Big first set. Reba kind of pulls this, and then the left hand of Epperson holds onto it a little bit too long. Point for double clutch, who's closing the gap here. Right, that was actually a reverse coming out for Hinkle, which we haven't talked about because he doesn't do it often, but in California, he pulled it out, and he actually got 36% of his serves on it with an ace. 
That's a good mid shot from Riva. Hinkle always in a good spot while he's sprinting. Always close. Oh, he knows exactly where to be. He is working so hard. Like sometimes, if he was one more step, he would have been just in that spot. He has such an eye for where the ball will go. And to do that so far away from the net means you're covering even more ground, which is wild to me that he's able to close that gap. Rito boys and Ryder trying to change out balls, trying to uh, extend the lead with his serve. Steps out wide right, tries to hit a reverse, doesn't work out to the rim, but they have this lead not by much, just one break. By the way, we are almost at our thousand live viewers here on twitch.tv slash spikeball. <laughs> we will, between games, be giving away more spike ball swag, but we have too much action here to take the focus off of these four players vying for a national championship. Ruhul Murthy hits another one high. If you're wondering what a ball looks like when it's hit like that, it is an egg going <laughs> top over bottom. That's how hard it gets hit. Coleman Epperson swings hard. That looks like a good one. He, Rahul thinks it's high, no problem. However, I believe if they go to observers here, wow. uh, the boys of uh, the Rito boys may actually get the call they've been looking for. Fourth time they're meeting on a high call. Rito boys haven't gotten one, yeah. and it's called clean. Yeah, it's so challenging, especially when you're receiving right at your shoulder. Sometimes we talk about Caleb Heck, you just gotta let it fly by you, but they don't. And Epperson gets one, which was what I said is huge. That's the X factor here. Riva is looking like he's going to play well. Can Epperson support him? Definitely. Double fault by Rito, boys. Now, Frederick Hinkle, who has been pretty much all business here, has the ball at the service line. 18 15. A great wow. serve, reverse cut that just flies through the left hand of Coleman Epperson. Yeah, that's so much speed. I want to get a radar gun on that one. <laughs> I, I don't. That would scare me. Riva leaning back. That goes over his head. Yeah, he's got to be hitting this thing over 60 miles, like 60 miles an hour maybe? I don't know. Riva swinging with his right hand. They get a body touch. Hinkle gets an amazing set, and that may be... The play of the game, Riva may want a carry call, but However, I, I believe don't care there is happens. a carry call. There is a carry call, but that doesn't take away how incredible that play was. The, these players are going to sell out all game, and they're dapping up. They know how cool that is. It's unfortunate well, it doesn't go their guys, way. If you're here to see the replay, pretend it wasn't a carry. <laughs> yeah, that was unbelievable. <laughs> Ryder Riva. The man with the golden hand so far this match. Faking multiple times. Hits a lefty cut. A diving uh -huh. save, but Rahul Murthy kicks the net. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. He actually was able to put this away. Yeah, Hank goes upset because he thinks he could have got back to it. That's what you have to do to return his left hand. Look at this. He has to dive. Yeah. And then uh -huh. Murthy, so unfortunate. So we got a now game point. Our first game point in this national championship. It will not happen from the serve of Ryder Riva, at least not yet. Double clutch. Has a couple of points to make up here. Rule Murphy, crossover stance. Hits an amazing cut. They try to call this high. <laughs> Hinkle, of course, always reluctantly agrees. You'll see those nods that he doesn't want. Smiles. A, a yes, business, but understands that this is still fun. Murthy trying again, and we have our first game in the books. Double clutch falls one down to the Rito boys. Rito boys, we're not going to call it too soon. This team has gone to three games, I believe, both times they played. So double clutch is not down or out. Yeah, uh, of course it has. I mean, these guys are insane, uh, and they make adjustments on the fly. I know that Hinkle and Rahul, when they're not playing well and they're not winning, the conversations they have on the sidelines make a humongous difference into what they actually do in the game. You'd think like, oh, just keep doing us is what most teams are going to say to each other. They know exactly what happened, exactly where they went wrong, and then exactly what to do to fix it. Yeah. They, uh, the fact that they are such students of the game and they know exactly what needs to be done to win uh, at a competitive level is a testament to how hard they work to how hard they've worked to get mm -hmm. literally right yeah. here.